Hello everyone and welcome back to another full self-driving video. I'm going to go ahead and get things started here and then I'll give you a little bit of a breakdown in terms of what we're going to be driving today. So we'll go ahead and turn on the FSD beta. For those of you who are new, anytime the blue steering wheel is on here, that means FSD beta is active. So the car is going to be in control of all driving functions or accelerating, braking and steering. And basically our route today is going to follow my typical commute to work. I have been using uh, FSD beta version 10.4 now for about a week, so I kind of have a good handle on the different trouble spots along this route. So I thought it'd be a good example to take a look and see how many disengagements we have during my typical commute. And then towards the end, there is a pretty sharp, uh, around a 210, 220 degree turn that the car has to perform. So we'll take a look at that as well and see how the car does. So we've got a green light here. That was nicely executed. You will probably notice that the car did push the wheel to the left a little bit before making the right turn. Kind of an unnatural movement in terms of normal driving. I'm not sure if that's something that the autopilot team is programming the cars to do just to avoid curbs. Now it looks like we're switching into a faster lane here. But again, I'm not sure if that's something the autopilot team is doing to avoid the car from rimming or curbing the wheels. Um, but that is something that I have noticed on sharp right turns. The car will tend to drift left in its lane position before it makes that right turn. But today's drive will be uncut and I'll speed through the less eventful portions of it. And as things pop up along the roadway here, I'll stop in to give you my commentary. So far so good. This section of my commute has a lot of traffic lights and a lot of cars entering and exiting the roadway. So typically here I'm going to watch out for phantom braking. Uh, so a lot of times, like right now, we're slowing down for no reason at all. Uh, I'm not sure if that had to do with that Jeep on the left side of the road there, uh, but that was a significant speed drop of about 5 to 10 miles an hour. And it's something that I've noticed a little bit more common with this version 10.4. Now I did only have 10.3 for about two days before getting access to 10.4, so not a lot of experience driving 10.3, but I definitely can say that the braking unnecessarily is definitely a little bit more common, at least in my experience with this version. At this point, I am going to bump up our speed just so we can kind of stay with the flow of traffic here. So here at this lane split, the car does not really have a rhyme or reason in terms of what lane it picks. I've noticed about 50% of the time it chooses the left lane and then the other 50 is gonna choose that right lane. Not sure. In this case, there was no traffic that we had to pass, so it was kinda of arbitrary in terms of what lane it ends up in. So we've got a red light ahead. I have noticed that the car does tend to sometimes slow down a little bit late, or later than I would at least, um, but the slowing is still natural. So we're coming to a nice stop here in line with traffic. So we're gonna be exiting to the left up ahead. So the car's gonna move over into the left turn lane here. And then this is our pretty challenging turn. So you can see on the map here, the car is gonna essentially have to go about 220 degrees on its turn here. So entering the intersection now, there is a curb on our left, so the car's gonna have to pull in pretty far and then execute the turn. It's slowing down a little bit, but wow, that was very nice. So smoothly took us right through that turn, and now it's gonna have to move over quickly into the right turn lane here. We've got a green light ahead, so we can proceed to make our right turn here. Weird flick of the wheel to the left there, but not into the oncoming lane. And then we're gonna come up on our destination up ahead here, so I'm gonna turn off autopilot. 
So that's my uh, general commute to work every day. And the, you know, the, you could see the car performed very well. No disengagements on this drive. I have had some disengagements in the past on that sharp turn that we just took uh, to get off the highway. But overall, you can see that the progression of this system is really starting to get quite impressive. And again, this is uh, part of my daily commute. So the car is used to taking a lot of these roads and I'm also used to how the car is gonna perform. But that's gonna wrap us up for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you're having a different experience uh, with version 10.4. I know a lot of people have been having some pretty troubling drives with this particular firmware version. Uh, but again, let me know in those comments down below what you think and I'll talk to you soon in the next one.